What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning David Hay. David Hay states that the three boxers of the big three, the three top fighters on the heavyweight division, should have a round robin style tournament to see who actually wins, where everyone fights everyone. You know, and that would be an ideal thing to do, you know, and it would it should supersede any sanctioning body whatsoever, as long as these guys fight. However, their belts would have to be on the line because, of, you know, other words, what what difference would it make? But, you know, uh, David Hay, you know, he is going to the promoter side of things. He's promoting Derek Chisora. And that's funny because these guys were at each other's throat, one, you know, a while back, like bad. You know, I am going to shoot you, David Hay. <laughs> That's funny. But <clears throat> David Hayes, right. That would be an ideal thing to do. I would love to see that, you know, um, David Hayes, you know, putting his uh, promotional stamp on things. And he states that it's frustrating for everyone. You know, he said that he, you know, he would be very, very happy if a fight between Joshua and Wilder actually gets made. But how likely is that to happen? You know, and he made a, he made some, he made a, a statement that stuck with me reading the article he said in this tournament you know that's that could possibly be put together between these three people <clears throat> hopefully enough money is there that everyone can pick from and be happy so they wouldn't have to worry about finances and just fight each other now look that would be great but to talk about finances what's higher than a hundred million dollars besides 200 million? You know what I mean? If you can't get security off a hundred million dollars, that's not going to work for you. And that's not going to happen. Reality, you know, ideas are good to be thrown out there, but the reality is a fight like that won't be made and the greed itself will not allow a fight like that to that magnitude to be made like a Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. It won't happen like that. We'll never see a type lucrative fight like that again, you know, and I know what they're trying to do with Al Heyman because he's looking at Deontay Wilder. That's why I feel he's made Deontay Wilder go back to the gym and work on and, you know, and leave no rock unturned when it comes to training because he wants to make sure that Deontay Wilder gets the best type of training because he's going to be fighting some of the best people possibly. OK, so how Al Heyman looks at it, he wants another duplication of Manny and Floyd. OK, but when you get back to David Hay, David Hay is just really stating something that is the problem. You know what I mean? He's, you know, he's hopefully hoping for something that that just won't happen, you know. <clears throat> but no, I'm down for it. I would agree 100 percent. Let's have a tournament. Other weight classes do. The cruiserweight, you know, look at Usyk. He unified all of them with Torticos and all these guys. You know, he, you know, he won that tournament by the fault. You know, same as the light welterweight division. You know, they had tournaments. Now I remember Trinidad and Hopkins and Joppy and Keith Holmes back in the, you know, back in the early millenniums. You know, uh, after 9/11, they had a middleweight tournament. So why not a heavyweight tournament? You know, and that that is a great idea. You know, I'll sign up for it wherever you want me to sign. Let's sign a petition. Let's get it going because these guys have to fight each other because what's going to happen, worrying about money, one of these jokers is going to get knocked out and then the money all goes away and everything else does too, all right along with it. And then we're going to be waiting for a long time. And I think that's what really killed boxing to the to the extent of the like the American public. Because when when Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather were really supposed to fall, Manny Pacquiao instead fought Juan Manuel Marquez December 8th, 2012 and got knocked out cold. You know, two minutes and 59 seconds in the sixth round. And then guess what? That that fight went back to zero. You know what I'm saying? The fight, the, the anticipation of it, oh, well, Manny lost. Mayweather kicked back, start making memes, you know, start making fun like he always does because he was inside. He was he was happy inside that the pressure was off of him to make a fight. That is no this could happen in this situation as well. Somebody could get knocked out. You know, let's say Anthony Joshua. He's fighting Jarrell Miller. He knows nothing about Jarrell Miller. You know, well, 
you know, theoretically, guys, just saying, you know, anything could happen in heavyweight boxing. He gets stopped or upset. And then it's like, you know, then the other side's like, oh, you know, yeah, I knew he wasn't that good, yada, yada, yada. See, y'all thought I would have done it easier, but you didn't do it. You know, so the fight with the most um, anticipation, it loses its steam. You know, look at Kell Brook in, in Amir Khan. You know, people want to see that fight, but not like they wanted to a couple, like two or three years ago, because both of them got beat since then. You know, Canelo knocked out Khan. Golovkin broke Kell Brook's eye bone. You know, so yeah, they that so that fight is diminished. So we don't want another situation like those examples I gave you guys. But yeah, I do agree with David. Hey, you guys tell me what you think about his idea. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.